We've got some alarming pictures, but an important story to show you. It's from Argentina. It shows a massive die-off of elephant seals. It happened late last year. According to scientists, more than 18,000 seal pups died, and the deaths are now being blamed on a surprising threat, the virus that we know as bird flu. Bradley Blackburn has more on why it could be a warning sign and, and another warning to you. Some of these images might be a little bit disturbing. Along the rugged coast of western Argentina, dying elephant seals filled the beaches last year, a sight that horrified researcher Valeria Falabella. Someone described it as apocalyptic. This kind of mortality is completely uh, new for us. H5N1, the virus known as avian influenza, has been circulating in birds for decades. Last year's sky-high egg prices were due to a 2022 outbreak that affected 58 million chickens in the U.S. alone. There have been cases where the virus spreads from infected birds to mammals. Now researchers fear it may be moving from one mammal to another. You feel like it's likely? I, I think it's quite likely. It's humans visit the sea edge. Dr. Chris Walzer with the Wildlife Conservation Society in New York says we need better tracking of viruses in animals to better protect humans. This avian influenza outbreak in the last three years has been the, one of the largest threats to wildlife globally. We just can't wait for it to hit human populations. We need to be working upstream to look at what's happening in these wildlife populations. He says the risk remains low, but the virus is changing quickly. These images should be a warning to governments. We really need to be on it to see, is the virus acquiring new traits that could be, create a problem for us humans? This virus has the potential to be a pandemic. Absolutely. In Argentina, they will be counting the seals again this year, hoping for a better outcome. I will never thought that <laughs> I will have this kind of sight uh, in my life watching for signs of a spreading virus. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.